I'm Maya. I'm Julia. We'll line up and welcome back. So today we're gonna film a sort of tutorial on how we edit our Instagram pictures. And we actually have one already, but we're gonna do an updated one. Updated yeah. one, talk you through, show you more apps that we're using. Cause yeah, we've started using more apps. <laughs> Let's hop on. So I have two different apps that I normally use. The first one is ViscoCam, where I can see all basically my whole Instagram feed. And the second one is Snapseed, which I always start with. So I will start with just choosing the picture that I'm gonna edit. And the first one is here, a picture of me. So I prefer to have my pictures, the whites should be really white. I don't like yellows or blue tones, so I keep it, I keep it quite natural. So this picture was already quite good with the lighting, but I'm gonna make sure that the whites are really white by choosing the selective. And there I add less saturation on the whites and on the blacks I also make sure that those are not yellow so I just go like that I want to make sure that the whole picture is quite even so I try to like here's some yellows that I'm gonna remove you can see that it's quite natural but now my skin is looking quite dull so I will just tap back and just bring my skin color back adding some more saturation on that I think I'm quite good to go as you can see the yellows on the ground and up on the wall is removed and I think the picture looks quite good so I will open this on ViscoCam and on ViscoCam I normally use A6 I usually depending on the lighting conditions uh, of the picture I will shift towards J2 or J5 and sometimes even HB2 but I usually use A6 so I'll add that I'll reduce it a bit to make sure that it doesn't look as like, filtered and then I will go in and add some more exposure more contrast I think the temper temperature is quite good so as I said I don't like any blues and then I feel like it's a bit desaturated so I'll just bring it up a bit and then it's quite highlighted so i just reduce that and now i think i'm quite good now i think it fits my feet quite well so then when i'm ready to upload i actually just save it down to camera roll uh instead of adding it to instagram directly through viscocam because i've noticed that the quality goes down a bit so i head and head over to instagram i actually tweak it a bit while i'm there here i add some lux i don't really know what it does but it just makes it look good and then maybe not any brightness, but just like contrast it a little bit more. Um, bring down the highlights a bit. And then maybe the shadows. I think it looks much better now. And then I'm ready to upload. So that was how I edit my pictures. Now moving on to Maya. My Instagram is very like all over the place. I try, I mean I really really try to like keep it like super neat like Julia's Instagram. But I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It just doesn't end up like that. But first of all, I start with Snapseed just like Julia did. And I'm gonna edit this photo of me and Julia that from our photo shoot we did with Paul. So even if like my feed is all over the place, I don't like like the yellow tones or the blue tones i just want the white to be white and the blacks to be blacks and like the color to be color i just want i just don't want it like super all over the place so what i'll do first is i'll look for the yellow parts of the picture as you guys can see in this picture like the top left corner is kind of yellow so what i'll do is i'll just like remove all of that like with a saturation and then i'll bump up the brightness as well just to keep the white like bright so I'm just gonna keep on doing that um, to all my pit, to all wherever I think it's necessary. Basically, the whole background because this picture was super yellow. Like down here, brighten that up as well, and then I'll just go like that. And then like you can see like some shadows if you don't want the shadows you can just brighten that up a bit like over there and then like down here and like what happens when you remove all the saturation from the background like your face looks kind of weird like as you can see my face looks super like weirdly yellow because of the reflection from my jacket 
So what I'll do is I'll try and remove a little bit of that and then go back, like go back with the saturation. Like even my, my jacket's kind of bright and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna try and remove the saturation from my jacket a bit, but then go back on my face. And then I'm pretty much done with this. So I'll just save it and then I'll open it on ViscoCam. And on ViscoCam, this is the old one. I'm not gonna update it because I've heard that the new one like looks kind of weird. So I'll take the save picture and upload it and see if I like it. And then I use A6 because I think that's the one that makes it look super, like more natural. So I'll put A6 and I'll just kind of see how much of the filter I want on. I usually do like pretty high up like an 8 or a 9 or a 7 something like that. And then I'll bump up the sharpness a bit. And then I'll save it to my camera roll. So I don't do much like on the actual Visco app. I just kind of put on the filter and decide how much filter I want. And then I'll do the rest on Instagram. Again, I don't know what the Lux does either. I don't know if it just like brings out shadows or something. But then since I removed a lot of the saturation, I'm gonna put in some shadows so it looks more, there's more definition in the picture. And then if I want some more brightness, because I really want the white to pop, I'll do that. And then the contrast some more. And then what I usually do is I'll remove the saturation or I'll bump it up depending on if I want the yellow to go away or not. So what I'll do is I'll bump up the saturation on the whole picture, on this picture, and then I'll bring down the warmth a bit so it gets sort of a balance. And then go on with the contrast. And then a little bit more with the brightness. Like that. And then I'll sharpen it a bit more. And that's basically it. And I just uploaded it on Instagram. So we hope you guys liked the video. It got maybe a bit longer than we usually do our videos, yes. but it's at least informative now. So if you want a shorter version, go to our old version, but mm -hmm. it's not really the same way we edit. But yeah, hope you liked it. Adios.